What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, I want to go over some of the things that have happened with She Will Punish Them in previous updates and some of the things that are coming down the pipeline in future updates. Now the first thing that I want to cover is mod support. They are working on mod support. So there is a proof of concept already on Steam. If you visit the workshop for She Will Punish Them, you can find a couple of mods on there. Now, both of these mods have actually been created by one of the devs for She Will Punish Them. But again, this is a proof of work for She Will Punish Them. So I'm hoping to see a full mod support on Steam going forward. And don't forget to whack the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe for future updates. And I'm going to bounce around a little bit here. This is from a post five hours ago about the upcoming update from L2 Game Studio. L2 Game Studio is the studio behind She Will Punish Them. So in this upcoming major update, what we can expect is Steam Cloud saves a modding tool version one. This is going to be for weapons only. So they're actually creating a modding tool which means they're really gonna support modders in their ability to create mods and then upload them to the Steam Workshop, which is gonna be very cool. If you've been around my channel for any amount of time, you know I cover Conan Exiles. Conan Exiles supports modding, and you can find absolutely everything on the Workshop page for Conan Exiles. So I think this is a really smart move for them. Anytime I've seen a company really go hand in hand with modders and really support them, I've seen that game continue to grow and do really well because of that. And at times there's been mods that have kept games going beyond their life cycle. So I think this is a really smart move. They'll have some new customization options. That'll be cool. Custom Pose Maker and Importer Exporter for Custom Pose Feature. So this is going to be really cool. Instead of having the preset poses, you'll actually be able to go in and kind of pose your character in a different way. Hopefully it's really user friendly. I know some other games have this built in and it's really difficult to figure out how to get your character not looking like a marionette. But like I said, hopefully it's really easy to use and we can see some really cool poses out of that. Built in a photo taker and a photo album. I use the NVIDIA GeForce stuff, so I'm not sure that I'll use the built-in photo taker, but we'll see how that feature comes out. They're adding three new maps. Now, this is where my personal main focus is. I really want to see more content, more things that I can go out and slay. So adding three new maps is good. Hopefully, they'll continue to add more and more and more maps. Five new hairstyles and a few new headgears. Those are coming. A few couple poses. And I had to read this a couple of times because it is kind of odd to read. A few couple poses. You kind of think, is it a few or is it a couple? But no, what it is is it's a few poses for a couple characters characters so a few couple poses will be coming to the game 15 new pieces of furniture and new lingeries they don't say how many new lingeries but they haven't been afraid to throw those out there in the past so i'm expecting quite a few new lingeries now i do want to go back to mods and just mention nexus mods there's actually quite a few mods already on nexus mods now if you're going to download from nexus mods you need to do that at your own risk i have no idea i have not tested any of these mods so i have no idea if any of them cause any issues to the game or any issues to your computer. However, I would suggest coming over here and taking a look at what is available on this page because there's actually quite a bit that, in my honest opinion, some of this stuff should just be in the game. It should just be added to the game. It doesn't need to be a mod. Like jumping, I think jumping needs to be in the game. I think this quick swap, this is an amazing feature. I think that should be in the game. So, these things are already being modded. It's absolutely possible for L2 Studios to pick this up and put it in the game if that's something that people want to see. And I think those two things are definitely something that people want to see among the other things that are probably on this page as well. And I know that some game studios can be timid about taking mods and putting them in the game or taking the idea for the mod and putting it into the game. However, I would say don't be timid about it if it's something that's going to elevate the gameplay for everyone and it should be a core feature like jumping. You should just put it in the game. Don't worry about the fact that somebody modded it in there. 
Speaking of mods, right here on the main screen, there's a mod manager. We just click that, you can see the mods that I have available. You can see I have the daggers installed already, and the other one would be the Wyvriner decoration. But like I said, I've only downloaded the ones from the Steam Workshop. I haven't messed with any of them that are on Nexus mods because they require more steps, and I really didn't want to get in there and have anything happen to the game. So you may be wondering where to get the daggers from the mod that's currently available on the Steam Workshop. And as you can see, I have one of those daggers already, but you can just buy them directly from the blacksmith and you should definitely check them out if you haven't. They are really powerful and they are really awesome looking. In fact, I am wearing one right now. So let me pull that. Let me get into a place where I won't get clipped through the wall if I try to show it to you. But there it is right there. It looks super cool. And I'm really excited to see what weapons and what more creations come from these mods. For this next bit, I actually want to take you in the game and just show you that they've added expressions. And these are really fun, actually. So if we just do this, this is the standard expression that your character has. But you can go in here, you can make them smile, you can make them look sweet. You can actually mix some of these together so you can smile and look sweet. I know, some of you guys right now, just, just pause the video, step away, come back, it's okay. But you can you can do all sorts of stuff in here. So we've got sensual stare. I'm not 100% sure on this one. I'm sure if you mixed it in with maybe some sweet and some smile. Oh, yeah. See, like, come on. Get out of here. Okay. So, but they even go as far as, like, being able to pose with your torture devices. If you have those, that's a thing. So you can make her in pain you can make her in agony yes uh pain and agony combined we've got a little bit of maybe tearing there let's see if we can can we get rid of that maybe that's just a shadow but it looks looks a little odd that she's got that highlight right above her eyes there but you can do just all sorts of things kind of a cheeky grin look at that cheeky grin all right well, she's got a subtle smile it's almost like a cheeky grin you could probably combine the oh look yeah, yeah, looking a little derpy, but that's okay. So, uh, ashamed. Oh, she does look ashamed. Uh, pleasure. I'm not sure this looks like pleasure. Uh, mm. I don't know. You're going to have to tell me in the comment section below. Is pleasure, does that actually look like pleasure? Does it look like she's got something caught in both of her eyes and something on her lip? I don't know what's going on there. Judgmental. This is absolutely judgmental, totally judgmental. I, I don't see anything other than that. It's like we stepped into an episode of Legally Blonde or something like that. But uh, we have Hopeless. Uh, yeah, she looks pretty hopeless. And then Annoyed. And yeah, that's probably exactly what you guys are feeling about this video right now. So I'm going to stop with this real quick. The only thing that I am going to say here, and I'm going to do agony because it's the most pronounced, it's easiest to notice. So if you go in and you do that to your character, she stays that way. Okay, so the expression that you put on your face lasts through anything that you're doing. So if you're in battle running around, she's going to look like that. However, you can go into free pose mode at any point in time and I don't know where I'm at okay I'm behind the let's let's move her over here real quick hold on we've got issues let's go into free pose mode here and you can see her expression is there but you can come in here and fix her expression at any point in time what I will say about when you are in free cam mode and you're using these it slides across so you'd have to slide across and then come back to see if that's what you want or not and then slide back across so it's a little cumbersome when you're in a free cam mode however uh, it's a really cool feature in my opinion the other thing that I may have pointed out in a previous video, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to go ahead and cover it again in case I didn't point this out, but the amount of storage that you have now has increased. Used to be only four, now we have eight. And the other thing to do with this is they actually took all the lingerie out so there's no lingerie that you have to store anymore that automatically goes into your lingerie cabinets or your wardrobe and now it's just going to be the actual items that you pick up the potions the weapons the armor the different things like that that you're going to be able to store in your home storage 
So for your lingerie, you're actually just going to go into inventory and you're going to go over to the lingerie tab. You can see all the lingerie that I actually own is over on this side and I can pick any of those to wear for my character. You can also pick those to wear for your followers. I'm not going to do that because YouTube would probably not like that if I was to change a whole bunch of lingerie on video. There's also this a rescue mission so I could get another follower. That would be my third follower. It's a level 19 mission. If you are interested, leave me a comment in the comment section below and whack the like button on this video and I'll do a video going through this dungeon solo at level 13. All right, and I think I've annoyed my character enough for today, so we're gonna wrap this video up here. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think the best thing that I covered in this video is, whether it's an upcoming feature or whether it's a feature that they've already put in the game. <sighs> The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. Thank you very much. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not a subscriber, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video. Now, if you're not done watching, there's two videos on the screen. You could pick one of those to watch next. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace.